Let's take a look at a problem. Use an audiogram to represent these findings from a diagnostic hearing evaluation. Include masked symbols if necessary. Assume supra oral phones. And here is our case. It is a unilateral sensory neural hearing loss in the left ear. Sloping configuration, mild to moderate severe. So let's take a look at an audiogram. I'll be using a free software that you can use. I'll be providing the link in the description below uh, so you can edit your own audiograms online for free. All right, so the first thing that we're told through our problem statement is that the hearing loss is unilateral. Uni, of course, meaning one. And we also know that the hearing loss is within the left ear. So we can tell that the right ear is probably going to be normal, or at least we can assume it is. So let's go ahead and put the air conduction within normal ranges. Go ahead and just put them at random spots here. It doesn't quite matter, uh, just so long as it's in the normal ranges, of course. And then let's edit our air conduction on the left ear. Now our left ear is the one that has the loss and it's a sloping, mild to moderately severe loss. Now in adults, we're assuming that it's an adult because it doesn't say it's a child. A mild loss has the range of 26 to 40 decibels and a moderately severe loss is a range of 56 to 70 decibels. So let's start with the mild, 26 to 40. We'll go ahead and leave this here at 30. Go for 35. Perhaps down to 55 here. Maybe more so something like this. That way it looks a little bit more like a slope. Alrighty, so now that we have the air conduction done, let's move on to the type of hearing loss that it is, which was sensory neural. Now by definition, a sensory neural hearing loss means that the bone conduction and the air conduction thresholds are outside of normal limits with no significant air bone gap. Again, remembering that significant means anything greater than 15 decibels. Let's go back to our right ear real quick. Our right ear is normal, so we can assume that the bone conduction is pretty much going to mirror the air conduction, again, so long as it's in normal ranges, it doesn't quite matter. And then let's start editing our left ear. This is where it's gonna get a little bit interesting. Now we said that bone conduction and air conduction are outside of normal limits. So let's draw something that closely mirrors this one as well. Doesn't have to be exact, could be a little bit off. But Easy peasy, right? But we're not done yet. We now need to look to see if we need to mask. Now remember, to figure out if we need a mask, you take the inner oral attenuation plus the bone conduction threshold of the non-tested ear and add those together. So, we have supraoral headphones. So our inner oral attenuation is gonna be 40 decibels. Let's start with 250 hertz. This one's pretty easy. Our air conduction threshold for 250 hertz in our right ear is at zero. 
So add to 40, it crosses that line. So we're going to mask that guy. It's gonna look a little bit messy here, but we'll clean it up later. Let's move to 500. That's at five plus 40, 45. It's greater, so we need to mask. Again, this one's also at five, 45, mask. Moving on to 2000, it's at 10. 10 plus 40 is 50, which is still greater. And on to 4000, that one is at five, 45. This one's equal. So what I would do is I would mask just to be safe, better to be on the safe side than not. So let's clean this up a little bit. I'll go through and delete the non-masked symbols. And there we have it. This is gonna be the audiogram for an individual that has unilateral sensory neural hearing loss within the left ear, sloping from mild to moderately severe hearing loss.